Live from the Fox 5 television studios in New York City, you're watching Good Day New York. Good morning and welcome to Good Day New York on this Tuesday, April 30th. Rent's due tomorrow. I'm Jim Ryan here with the Good Day Gang and here are the stories that are making news right now. The employees at a New Jersey nursing home in a big game lottery pool accused a colleague of holding out on them. Turns out he does not have the winning ticket. We'll find out later today who does. Bronx State Senator Guy Valella, a longtime powerhouse in the Republican Party, has been indicted on bribery charges. The Manhattan Day DA says lucrative state contracts were for sale. And the well-known Riverside Church basketball program has sent more than 60 players to the NBA. Now its director has stepped down amid charges that he sexually abused a player to whom he later gave $2 million. Price Man's here now, checking the weather for us. All right, Jim, pretty decent weather today as we head through the rest of the day, though. Uh, temperatures stay a little cooler than we'd like, and we see some showers roll in into the evening. How long will they last? When's the weather really warm up? What's next weekend look like? Is it too early to ask? All those answers come up in just a little while, so stick around for that. In the meantime, let's say hello on this Tuesday morning to Adrian Nardo. She's standing by with a look at transit and traffic. Hello, Dave. Delays stretch from not one, not two, but three exits on the Connecticut Turnpike with an accident in Bridgeport. That's a big trouble spot, and we're still trying to ease out on the Cross Bronx NET from an earlier accident. We'll have all those details in just a few minutes. Good morning, Dick. Good morning, Adrian. Well, the ex-cop accused of four counts of manslaughter takes the stand in his own defense here at Brooklyn Supreme Court. More on this story straight ahead. Go, go, Mario. Thank you very much, Dick, and good morning, everyone. All right, how do you budget today, cope with the cash flow, and save for tomorrow? Well, don't stress, we're going to help you out this morning with your family budget on Good Day New York. Good morning, AJ. Good morning, Mario. Well, when LaToya and Latavia split from Destiny's Child, they did not let it end their career. In fact, they have a whole new beginning, a whole new group. They're called Angel. We're going to hear them sing live later this hour here on Good Day. Ernabelle. Hey, good morning, AJ. We are live at the Bergen County Academies in Hackensack, New Jersey, for our very own Good Day BattleBot competition. Over here, we have the, the team from Del Barton High School, the Green Wave. Over here, we've got Evil Eagles from Hopog High School, and over here, E2 from Bergen County Academics. Okay, back to you, Jim. I think I got that all right. <laughs> <laughs> very well done. All right, thank you very much, Ernabelle. Lynn Brown now, the greatest for the latest. Good morning to you, Jim. Good morning, everyone. One of the most powerful members of the state legislature has reportedly been indicted on bribery charges. Republican State Senator Guy Villela of the Bronx. The Post says that he could be arrested as early as tomorrow. The Manhattan DA's office has reportedly been investigating Villela and his 88-year-old father, Vincent. They allegedly accepted cash bribes for awarding contracts for painting state bridges. Today is the day that we could hear from ex-cop Joseph Gray. He is slated to take the stand in his own defense to tell his side of what happened the night that he mowed down three people in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. Dick Oliver will have more on today's proceedings. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Daryl Strawberry says jail will probably be good for him. He will have plenty of time to find out. A judge in Florida sentenced him to 18 months behind bars for violating his probation for a sixth time by getting kicked out of rehab. Uh, I, I just like to get this behind me. Uh, I like to, uh, you know, get my 18 months and, and move on. You know, you know, my life is going in the right direction, and you know, I made some mistakes and everything, and, and I'm willing to pay the price for it. You know. Now, with good behavior, the former Mets and Yankees slugger could be out of jail in 13 months. Now it is war. The Yes Network has filed a federal lawsuit against Cablevision, claiming the cable giant is trying to run it out of business by refusing to air Yankees games. Both sides have quit trying to work out a settlement. Cablevision called the suit entirely without merit. Lottery officials in New Jersey will introduce one of the big winners of the big game lottery later this morning. The winning ticket is worth $108 million or $59 million in a lump sum. Turns out the organizer of that lottery pool, the man you just saw at a Newark nursing home, didn't have the winning ticket after all. Dick Brennan spoke to him exclusively last night. I feel so relieved about it that it's already over. And for all those... Uh who didn't believe in me, uh, I already forgive them. You've forgiven them? Yes, and, uh, and for all those who supported me, uh, from the bottom of my heart, thanks to them. Marquez had bought his tickets in Union. The winning ticket was sold at a Gulf gas station food mart in Hillside. That is the latest from Fox 5. All right.
right, everybody, taking a look at the uh, beautiful flags which adorn Midtown Manhattan right by uh, Rockefeller Center and Dean DeLuca in the background. We're saying good day to you. Numbers looking like this at this hour, 42 degrees, kind of chilly out there, 68% humidity. That's in check and clear skies. It's beautiful upstairs. Uh, winds out of the northwest at about six miles per hour with a rising barometer at 2993. Here's what you need to know. Let's go to the maps and check things out right now. Uh, 43 degrees at LaGuardia, off by a degree at JFK at 42, 41 at Newark, 30 37 at Newburgh, up through the Hudson Valley by the Price Family Headquarters. Chilly this morning, 39 at Poughkeepsie. And look at that, 33 degrees in Danbury and up by Ridgefield and Bethel. 39 in uh, New Haven and 40 in the Hamptons, everybody. Beth Page should get up to 60 in Ridgefield, 57 today. Sunset at 751 and before the sun sets, we'll reach a high of 59 in Lodi, 62 in Wicketunk and uh, 54 in Blauvelt. Uh, let's see, Ridgefield should be at about 57, warming up but not as much as it should be. We have a warm front which is going to pass just to the north. Could just buzz us with a little bit of a late day shower. Uh, during the late afternoon dinner time into uh, early evening. We'll watch it. That's not a definite, but watch the path. Then a cold front's going to move to the south, and tomorrow we'll clear on out again. Should be a nice day, but later on in the day, we'll see clouds once again kind of renewing their lease on the sky. Then as we head into uh, Thursday, another possibility as this system from Oklahoma begins to uh, slip on up the east coast. So a little bit of everything this week, but one thing looks great. And what is it, folks? It begins with a W. It is the weekend. That's right. Looking really, really nice at this point. Let's take a look at the forecast, let you know what you need to to start the day. Partly sunny and uh, really nice for much of the day. Still cooler than we'd like. 66 is our normal high. We get to 60. Breezy conditions too. West southwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour into tonight. We are going to dip down, get down to 47 degrees, get down and get funky. Uh, partly cloudy skies and we will see the possibility of a shower this evening. 35 to 45 degrees and the five day forecast looks like this. Check it out everybody. As we head through the next several days, we'll see Wednesday a possibility of showers at 61, 71 Thursday, Friday 63, Saturday 70 and Sunday 75. Don't forget Nets play basketball tonight. They win and the Islanders going to win too. Uh, we are going to bring the championships home to New York. Let's send it on over to you, Adrian. Thank you, Dave. Mass Transit Honor close still. Whoa. <laughs> Slow down, pal. You're going past the speed limit. Well, Belt Parkway here westbound as we make our way past Kennedy. Delays begin at Kennedy. The end at Cross Bay Boulevard. On the eastbound side of the belt, we have a disabled vehicle at Flatbush Avenue. So watch for delays there. Here we go. Trying to get to the Bronx this morning. George Washington Bridge inbound upstairs 20 minutes. Lower level only 10 minutes. And delays on the eastbound Cross Bronx finally starting to ease onto the northbound New England throughway from that earlier overturned truck problem. Now, Throgs Neck Bridge, road work around the clock to the Bronx. Watch for delays on the Throgs Neck, backing up to the Clearview and the Cross Island Parkway. Whitestone or Triborough would be a better choice. Queensboro Bridge, heavy on both levels. Holland, 10 minutes from the Turnpike. Lincoln, a 25-minute delay already into the city. Alternate side parking rules, they're in effect. Jim? Adrian, thank you very much. Still ahead this morning on Good Day New York. An important day in the testimony of the trial of a former city cop accused of mowing down a family in Brooklyn. Plus, the Brooklyn bishop says he will report all child abuse allegations to the proper authorities. We'll talk about that, that impact with the Brooklyn district attorney. And then we'll meet Angel, is that correct? Angel. Angel, the new group. <laughs> Girl group formed by two of the original members of Destiny's Chilled. Good try. No. <laughs> Chilled. Chilled. Be taking a listen when we come back. If you've got a problem, call the Fox 5 Problem Solvers at 1-877-TELL-FOX-5. Fox Tuesday is the all-new 100th episode of That 70s Show, a rock opera with the Who's Roger Daltrey. Okay, places, everyone. This is just like a star is born, and I'm Barbara Streisand. Followed by a behind-the-scenes special. <laughs> then, your online choice for favorite show. Yes! That 70s Show, tonight at 8 on Fox 5. On the next Montel, a powerful. I want my name on that birth certificate. He's my baby. Ain't nobody gonna change that. And he's mine. Young men actually fighting to be fathers. You need to grow up, Sam. She's not yours. Plus, DJ isn't sure this baby is his, but that didn't stop him and his mother from taking the baby from Nicole. You, in essence, have kidnapped a child. If the baby is not your son, you will go to jail. Talk about an important paternity test. Lives will be changed. Next month. Today at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. on Fox 5. Making it easy to say, count me in. Making more doctors available. 
Making more time for the cupcakes. Making customer service better. Making time to be a horsey. And making it all simple. Making me one with my workload. That's how we make healthcare work for you. Making it not so scary, after all. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Making healthcare work. Gonna do it my way, my way. Gonna, gonna do it my way. Gonna be the right way, right way. If I, if I do it my way, yeah. Gonna be the right way. You can't explain it until you have one of your own. The 2002 Accord from Honda. Now lease a 2002 Accord LX for $239 a month for 36 months. Selling a home? Insist on a multiple listing. Thousands of local agents delivering you more qualified buyers, a faster sale, and the best deal. Go multiple. Insist on a multiple listing. You can always count on family. Name an article of clothing a restaurant might require its customers to wear. Apron. For a good laugh. Family Feud. Play along for the fun of it. Today at 2 and 2.30 on Fox 5. Elaine is spreading holiday cheer. I don't get a Christmas card. I don't get it. Here. Here's a Christmas card. Seinfeld, tonight at 7.30 on Fox 5, the home of comedy. Kai Simonson up in Sky Fox on his way to a problem in the Garden State Parkway, Kai. Well, that's absolutely right, Jim, and we'll be there in just a couple of minutes. That's down in Red Bank, New Jersey, on the northbound side. Uh, we have a problem down there. We'll show you that uh, in just a little while. This, however, is the Belt Parkway as you head in toward Cropsey Avenue. You can see traffic is flowing along very nicely in both directions as you head up toward the Gowanus and also the Verrazano Bridge. Now, eastbound on the Belt Parkway, we did have a disabled vehicle that was blocking a lane over at Flatbush Avenue. That has been cleared. Westbound, you're heavy from JFK out to Cross Bay Boulevard. Those are pretty much typical delays for this time of the morning, and we'll be down in Red Bank in just a few few minutes. Back to you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Kai. Dick Oliver out in uh, Brooklyn, where uh, a very surprising testimony should take place today in the case of an officer accused of vehicular homicide. Ali? That's right, Jim. It's ex-cop Joseph Gray, described as extremely intoxicated when he allegedly ran down and killed four people here in Brooklyn last year. Well, he testifies in his own defense here at Brooklyn Supreme Court. The 41-year-old defendant, charged with four counts of manslaughter, expected to tell jurors the accident in Sunset Park was unavoidable. One officer who rushed to the crash scene on August 4th of last year said he smelled alcohol on Gray's breath and added, quote, Mr. Gray was extremely intoxicated. And an NYPD chemist testified Gray's alcohol level was 0.16, well above the legal limit. So the prosecution presents its final witness today, then the defense takes over with the testimony of Joseph Gray. He faces up to 15 years in prison if convicted. Let's go back to you, Jim. All right, uh, Ali, thank you very much. Well, it just so happens that we have the Brooklyn District Attorney, Charles J. Hines, with us in the studio. Uh, and just before we get started on, on your agreement now with mm -hmm. uh, Bishop Daly of Brooklyn, mm -hmm. uh, on, the, uh, on, on the case of this officer, it says he's going he's to claim that the accident was unavoidable. What does the mm -hmm. prosecutor say? We'll see. He'll be cross-examined if he takes the stand. It's not clear he'll take the stand. Uh, if he does, he'll be cross-examined. We'll see what the result is. All right. So wait and see attitude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now to uh, the uh, to the issue that that brings you in this morning, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. D. A. And, and that is, you have reached an agreement with the Catholic Diocese of Brooklyn, mm -hmm. with regard to uh, allegations made against priests, and uh, that 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 any allegation, if I understand it correctly, mm -hmm. any allegation of uh, of sexual abuse by a priest. Whether or not substantiated, whether or not mm -hmm. the, the the bishop thinks it's uh, it's mm -hmm. it's real or unreal, goes to you first. Right. The importance of the agreement is it's without prior screening as to the truth of the allegation, and that's a good thing because uh, the bishop's responsibility is, is far different than mine. Uh, so I'm very very pleased that the bishop has become the first bishop uh, of the 194. Uh, bishops in the country to agree to such a, a procedure. Now this is a bit of a reversal for him too. He, when, when he was here, even in Brooklyn, mm. he, uh, he, he at first uh, did not want to give all the allegations to the civil authorities. From the beginning uh, of my negotiations with his lawyers, that's, that has not been a question. Uh, it was how it would be turned over. And uh, I made it clear to the lawyers that, that uh, anything other than uh, immediate turnover without prior screening would be uh, unacceptable, and we ultimately 
reach this agreement. We both signed uh, the agreement on Saturday, and I'm very, very comfortable with the terms of the agreement. Did you have any face-to-face -face, uh, talks uh, with the bishop himself? No, I didn't. I spoke to the lawyers for the, uh, the diocese, and the attorneys in my office uh, negotiated the agreement. Uh, and uh, you're not in a position to know, but perhaps you do, since you guys talk to each other. I imagine the same thing is true with uh, Dick Brown over in Queens. Uh, Dick, uh, I believe, is, is going to enter in a similar agreement. And suppose you, uh, you um, investigate a particular case involving a, uh, allegations against a priest, mm -hmm. and those allegations prove to be unfounded. We, uh, we turn over the, uh, the results of our investigation up to a two-week period. And the reason we're doing that is to allow the bishop to make a determination to, uh, administratively as to what to do with the priest. I mean, if we find uh, no criminality, that doesn't mean that, uh, that the bishop is precluded from taking administrative action. So I think that's a good part of the agreement as well. Uh, and is it uh, similar to a police officer situation where he faces a criminal charge, then no matter what happens to the criminal charge, he also faces departmental charges? So no, no matter what, what, uh, mm -hmm. what happens in, in your bailiwick, mm -hmm. uh, the priest still, regardless of what you find mm -hmm. out, still mm -hmm. faces uh, uh, the, the, the church. That, that's a good analogy. That, <clears throat> that is true. All right, Joe, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Brooklyn District Attorney Charles Joseph Hines, uh, thank you very much. Always good to see you, Joe. Uh, Mr. Price here with the weather now. All right, Jim. Well, what would you like to know today? I would like to know if it's going to rain. Uh, there is a possibility of rain. I would like to know if the drought is over. The drought is not over, Jim. The drought. Uh, I'd like to know where babies come from. Babies, Jim. <laughs> that is a that is a subject. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out myself, to be honest with you. Uh, it is 7:16 right now. at 142 degrees. Taking a look outside Midtown Manhattan at this hour, and as you can see, a variety of different uh, styles this morning, clothing-wise. Some people opting for the no jacket look bearing the colder weather and it's certainly going to be on the cool side this morning 42 is what it reads on the thermometer but it feels a little cooler with breezes coming out of the uh, west and southwest uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour as we head through the rest of the day uh, the breezy conditions are going to usher in some clouds a warm front passes to our north brings us the possibility of a shower as we head into the evening hours so lots of sunshine for the early side breezy conditions and then into the evening look for a shower to uh, possibly come our way nothing serious and tomorrow looks good too. The warm, the great, the nice, that comes our way just in time for the weekend. Tell you more in just a couple of minutes. Adrian. Thank you, Dave. Mass Trans is still fine. Connecticut not. Let's go to our maps. Connecticut Turnpike getting worse by the minute. Southbound delays on the Connecticut Turnpike now begin at exit 31. They go all the way down to exit 26. They're still clearing an accident. The Merritt or Route 1, a much better choice right now. That is a multi-mile delay, and it's not going to get cleared anytime soon. In New Jersey, they are finally in the process of clearing this late, 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 late road work. Northbound 17 from Century Road all the way up to Ridgewood Avenue. So watch for heavy delays on the northbound side. Again, the Garden State Parkway would be a good choice. George Washington Bridge in 20 minutes upstairs. Lincoln is up to 35 into the city. Northbound Bronx River off the Cross Bronx. We have a disabled vehicle that blocking one lane. East River Bridge is not too bad. Avoid the throgs neck to the Bronx if you can with around the clock construction for the next several weeks. Alternate sides in effect. Jim, back to you. Adrian, thank you very much. I see uh, Harold Levy is being touted as the possible president of uh, what's the name of that? It's Cornell University. Cornell. Name being bandied about as we hear to possibly replace Hunter Rawlings III who is the uh, current president. From the Hunter Rawlings III mm -hmm. to, to Harold, Harold Levy. Levy. Is, is Cornell going ethnic? No, I, I'll tell you this. I, I, you know what? Harold Levy would be a good guy to have at the helm there. Especially because you know him. Well, well you know, that might, that might help years down the road when if my child in indeed years? applies to, to, to Cornell. We all know that its academic standards are very high. So in the event that I knew Harold Levy, Maybe you I get could your call. dumb kid in. Maybe I could. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one way of putting it. Uh, but Cornell's saying, you know, that they're just beginning their search. But uh, he's a, you know what, uh, regardless of politics, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's certainly if anyone checks with me and Cornell, I'll provide him with a decent <laughs> reference. There is a battle brewing in a rural section of Queens that pits a Rosedale homeowner against the state of New York. It's a fight over something nobody wants, garbage. Dick Oliver checked it out for us. Thank you. 
When Ronnie Lay bought this little house kissed by the waters of Jamaica Bay, it was like living in a dream. But Lay's dream world at the edge of nature is under assault by man-made realities. Trash, including hypodermic needles and medicine bottles, washing into his backyard with every tide. I'm getting all the debris from the storm trains. And where does it go if the high tide comes over here? Last July, he poured some gravel and built a tidal wall to keep the trash out, only to land in deeper and hotter water with the state of New York. I just filled in when the property ended. The property abuts the protected wetlands of Jamaica Bay, and the State Department of Environmental Conservation says the makeshift barrier is illegal and a violation of the Tidal Wetlands Act. If Mr. Lay refuses to dismantle it, he could be fined $10,000 a day. So far, my fines have amounted to about a million dollars. The David and Goliath struggle of Ronnie Lay has attracted the attention of local media. He's been documenting his backyard battle with photographs and even had the city health department inspect the property and find it to be hazardous. I'm concerned about my grandchildren, safety for them. I got a two-year-old granddaughter. I got a four-year-old grandson. They come, they play in the yard. What if a ball bounces over this board? I'm not a criminal. I'm just trying to protect my family. Uh, the state DEC points out that the Jamaica Bay wetlands provide an important habitat for fish and wildlife and are protected under state and federal laws. Ron Lay wonders if trash is included under those protections. The state is taking him to court on June 18th. Mm -hmm. When we come back, confessions of a bridesmaid. We'll tell you why some bridesmaids have banded together and how you can cut costs and put money toward your future. Plus, Ertabelle's playing with robots. Well, that's right, Jim. You know, if you watch the BattleBot competitions on Comedy Central, you know that this is an extremely dangerous sport. And Paul Ventimiglia at Del Barton High School is going to show us one of the features that we cannot show here on TV. And Paul, what is this exactly? This weapon spins around at up to 180 miles an hour, just like this. Hear and it that? weighs about 40 pounds. 180 miles per hour. We'll have more BattleBots coming up after a break. Come on, honey. We're going to be late for the wedding. I don't think I can go. I don't feel so good. I'll try to get some rest. <laughs> bye bye now. Play hard, baby. Ford Escape, the perfect vehicle for getting away from it all. Now get $1,000 cash back and get an escape starting around $18,000. How are you feeling, honey? Much better. Visit your Tri State Quality Ford store today. Glenn Peterson has three growing kids and a budget to stick to. So ShopRite's helping him provide the best at low prices. In addition to over 2,000 weekly sale items, Glenn's Price Plus card gives him even more discounts. Make ShopRite your summer headquarters. This camp chair with arms, just $7.99. This nine-foot market umbrella, only $49.99. And this beautiful park bench will dress up your yard for just $49.99. Always fresh and always for less. ShopRite. York's one and only light music station, 106.7 Light FM. It's today's light music. I can be your hero, baby. I can feel you breathe. Light music for the greatest city in the world, 106.7 Light FM. Thousands of powerhouse, steel mill, and refinery workers helped make New York the Empire State. They were unaware of the silent killer, asbestos, that gave many of them mesothelioma, lung cancer, or asbestosis. If you are an asbestos victim or their survivor, call Weitz and Luxembourg at 1-888-411-LAWS. That's 1-888-411-LAWS. Weitz and Luxembourg, setting the standard in New York asbestos litigation for over a decade. With the CVS Extra Care card, it's not just about saving money on, like, 4,700 diapers. It's earning CVS money. It's not just another rewards program. It's a way to earn your favorite stuff free. The CVS Extra Care Card. It's not just a piece of plastic. It's recognition of the fact that someone should pay you for a change. Every mom knows the difference, and so does one pharmacy. CVS Pharmacy, helping you make a difference. <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> hammer one, price <laughs> nothing. She's sitting in that chair, I fall victim. With yeah. 86. 
How do you like that? All right, turn the bell. <laughs> Robotics. Fights. Hey, good morning, Jim. Hey, good, good morning, morning, Jim. We are live at the Bergen County Academies here talking to some of the kids who put together what, what they call bots. Not robots, but bots. And this is uh, Paul Ventimiglia. You met him a little earlier. And he built Green Wave over there, which uh, Dave Stolick, you can pan over there. Check it out. Now, Paul, you're actually just a freshman, aren't you? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> At Del Barton School. At Del Barton High School in Morristown, New Jersey. And you guys came in fifth at the last competition, right? Yes. So tell us about some of the features that your, your bot has. My robot's main weapon is the green bar you see on top. It spins around really fast. It speeds up to 180 miles an hour. So that's, again, we're explaining to our viewers, we can't show that here because at most of these competitions, you have a plexiglass that protects all the competitors. And we can't show that here because we are, in fact, at the high school, right? Yeah, this is actually too dangerous. In fact, I never test it unless I'm in a fully enclosed area. Okay, Paul, let's talk to your teacher. This is uh, Greg Devine, and he is uh, the teacher of the bot um, building class, correct? Uh, actually, Paul Ventimiglia built this battle bot almost entirely on his own. Uh, at Del Barton, we do have some number of engineering projects going on, but uh, Paul went for this one entirely on his own, which uh, we're extremely proud of him for. This is, I think, the third battle bot that he's built. Um, Del Barton does, though, have a number of uh, competitions, the Panasonic competition, which we'll see a little bit later on. Um, but this is entirely an investment on his part, which I think is just wonderful. Wow, Please. that is amazing. You know, we also have another, uh, a couple of other bots here. We have the bot from Hop Hog High School and the kids right over here, the Evil Eagles. I know that we were having a little technical difficulties with your bot. That's because you guys actually came back from a competition, isn't that right, just yesterday in Florida? Yeah, mm -hmm. um, we went to another competition in Florida, a national competition with about 600 other robots. Yeah. And uh, we just got back a little late last night. And uh, fixing the robot was not really quite capable. We okay, well, maybe capable, maybe we still have like an hour and a half left on the show, so you guys work on it, and hopefully we'll get your bot on TV. Okay, Jim, back to you in the studio. No, no. I always like having my bot on TV. I know. Still ahead on Good Any York this morning, the lead singer of the group Creed in a nasty accident will have details. Plus, how you can pay your rent, your bills, and still have money left over for investments. And we'll meet Angel. Brand new group, great sound. We'll hear them perform live. This program is brought to you by Dodge. Get somewhere, grab life by the horns. Dodge. Fox 5's Community Calendar is brought to you by your local Toyota dealer. Footloose, a free-spirited young man proves it's not a sin to be young. Now through May 11th, Bohemia, Long Island. Call 631-589-7588. Get ready for the Big Do in Thompson Park. Arts, Crafts, a Food Festival, May 19th, Lincroft, New Jersey. Call 732-842-4000. I was juggling taking care of my husband, kids, and a job. I was on overload, and I began to eat and eat. I was always tired, and I was angry with myself. One day I realized I had a choice. Do nothing or take control and focus on me for a change. I called Jenny Craig. Call 1-800-JENNY-20 because bathing suit season's right around the corner. And now lose 20 pounds for just $20 plus the cost of food. After losing 42 pounds, I'm in control now. Well, sort of. It's not just the low prices that make Siemens furniture such a good value. It's also the tremendous selection, quick delivery, and no payments for one year. See Siemens first and you'll agree you're getting the best price and the best value. Here we are, 116 in Lex, El Barrio, baby. Spanish Harlem, the home of salsa, rice and beans, and me. I'm Mark Anthony, and I'm a real New Yorker. Downtown. In New York, you can go anywhere. Do anything. The shopping. The clothes. The music. Check it out. There's so many great places to eat. Keeping it real, baby. Wait a minute, man. I know you. I know you. Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin, that's you. And at night, the city really comes alive. Hey, excuse me. Could you take our picture, oh, please? Oh, sure. Okay, no, of us. <laughs> To know, I need my favorite music. You know that's me, right? No, you kidding me. I need to know. So come to New York. Tell them Mark sent you. The Fox 5 Problem Solver. We're fighting for you. Call us at 1-877-TELL-FOX-5 or log on to fox5ny.com. 
They all paid to move into the same apartment, but they're all locked out. Could it happen to you? The Fox 5 Problem Solvers go after the woman cashing in tonight on the Fox 5 News at 10. You're watching Good Day New York. And welcome back to Good Day New York. I'm Jim Ryan here with the gang. 42 degrees under clear skies. Mr. Price will have the complete forecast momentarily, but first, Lynn Brown, the greatest with the latest. Thank you very much, Jim. Our top story right now. Israel says it won't cooperate with the United Nations, at least for now. It has to do with that fact-finding team. It wants to investigate Palestinian accusations of a civilian massacre in the Janine refugee camp. Israel says the UN team, as it is currently made up, is biased against them. Meanwhile, Yasser Arafat can leave his headquarters in Ramallah at any time, but he can't bring anyone with him. At least six people still hold up inside the headquarters building are wanted for the assassination of Israel's tourism minister. Two separate clashes between U.S.-led special forces and suspected al-Qaeda militants have left four people dead. The victims, all Taliban sympathizers. The fighting took place in Khost, near the Pakistan border. Meanwhile, Taliban and al-Qaeda detainees in Cuba are on the move. 300 prisoners were transferred from Camp X-Ray to new cells at Guantanamo Bay. The new prison facility includes metal beds, toilets, and wash basins in each cell. Right now, the body of Singer Lisa Left Eye Lopez is headed to Atlanta. A private plane carrying her body left Honduras early this morning. The singer died last week when the SUV that she was driving in veered off a highway. Turns out the same SUV was involved in a deadly crash a few weeks ago. A 10-year-old boy was killed when he stepped in front of the car. Lopez was not behind the wheel in that accident. Creed fans are singing a sad note. The rock group has canceled the rest of its North American tour dates as the lead singer recovers from a car accident. Scott Stapp's car was struck by another vehicle near Orlando, Florida. The doctors say he will be okay with a little rest. And finally, a unique wedding proposal, courtesy of the local fire department in Madison, Wisconsin. Brian Molinar came up with a creative way to pop the question. With a little help from his fellow firefighters, he climbed to the window of his girlfriend's office on a fire ladder. Will you marry me? She said yes! <laughs> well, the girlfriend, Kate Kramer, later got a ring from her hubby-to-be. No word yet on a wedding date. Ah, oh, she was so Dave Price is on fire. Ah. It looks like you are, my friend. Nice, uh, <laughs> nice outfit there today. It is a 7.32 outside. Well, it's, it's better to have a little color in one's tie <laughs> sure. than to have a tie that looks like a chicken wire. <laughs> it is 42 degrees outside. Uh, nice to see you again, and we are in for one. That is chicken it wire. It is not chicken wire, Jim. It is a subtle pattern. It is 7.33 at this hour. What do you say we walk on over to the weather wall and get some peace and quiet? Uh, all right, <laughs> stop calling home unless you're calling to tell them to watch Channel 5. Numbers looking like this at this hour. We are in for a cool morning. Certainly that is the case. Let's go to the numbers. Uh, right now, some clear skies out there, 42 degrees, 68% humidity, and uh, winds out of the northwest at about six miles per hour. We're going to see a little bit of a wind shift later on. The winds are going to wind up out of the west-southwest before too long. Rising barometer at 2993, that's a good sign. Now, let's go to the map, see what's happening. We have uh, 34 degrees right now in uh, Danbury, 41 at New Haven, 41 at Bridgeport, 42 at Newark, uh, 43 at JFK, 37 at Newburgh. Throughout the Hudson Valley, kind of cool this morning, uh, but we are going to warm up through the day. Not as warm as we'd like to be. 60 is where the elevator stops today. 66 is where we would typically like to be. That's the norm for this time of the year. Uh, relatively clear skies, but some clouds beginning to roll on in through the Great Lakes, and those will uh, scooch uh, just into our neighborhood uh, later on in the afternoon. Could, C-O-U-L-D, could, not will, could bring us some showers later on in the day between 4 and 8. Then the Jets going to bring another system into our backyard coming up from uh, Oklahoma right now, and uh, what that's going to do, possibly bring us some more showers tomorrow late in the day, and uh, again into Thursday as well. Hot from Florida. Florida over through the Gulf states, back into Texas through the Arizona sunshine. Well, it's a pretty big sun out there. And into uh, California, 
where the deserts are warm as well. This is the national map. This is the system and the moisture that's going to come up for a Wednesday night into Thursday. Our forecast, everybody, for the rest of the day today. How about this? Uh, partly to mostly sunny to start off the day. Uh, later on in the afternoon, we'll see some clouds. Then maybe a shower into the early evening. Uh, 60 degrees should be the high temperature. West to southwest winds, uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Into tonight, temperature's going to drop down. Partly cloudy skies. 47 should be the low, 35 to 45 in the burbs. And the five-day forecast, again, check it out. Tomorrow, we start out in pretty decent shape with uh, some sun once again, and then uh, clouds roll in and maybe more showers into the evening. Thursday, same thing, could see a shower, but we're going to warm up as a warm front passes through. Friday, a little step back to 63, but the weekend looks spectacular. 70 as we head to Saturday, 75 on Sunday. It is going to be terrific out there. 735 right now, 42 degrees. We top it off at 60 today. Tonight, maybe a shower. Adrian. All right, Dave, Mass Transit doing fine. Staten Island Expressway, heavy but moving end to end as you make your way toward the Verrazano Bridge. That's not too bad, and wear your sunglasses. Triborough Bridge, that's about 10 minutes. Bronx, Manhattan. Bound. Let's go to the maps. We got big troubles in Connecticut. Southbound Connecticut Turnpike, that accident's still there. Delays from exits 31 to 26 on the southbound side. Now we have an accident on the southbound Merritt. Exit 48 in Trumbull, so that's not becoming a good alternate through that stretch. Keep that in mind. Route 1 still okay. Finally clearing this late construction northbound Route 17, Century Road in Paramus, all the way up to Ridgewood. Westbound Route 46 at Smithtown Road in Bud Lake. We have a brand new accident there stick with westbound 80. George Washington Bridge 20 to 25 in upstairs. Lincoln Tunnel is going to be 35 to 40 minutes. We're back to normal at the Lincoln and about 10 to 15 at the Holland Tunnel. Turnpike approach just slightly heavier. Alternate side parking rules in effect. Jim. <laughs> Thank you very much, Adrian. I was not laughing at you. I was I was laughing at Dave. <laughs> what because, else is new? Because, well, well, you see, our floor manager, the lovely <laughs> don't Rose, say this. Said, <laughs> well, it's true. But there's no need to say it. But Why she not? said she I said hear it. <laughs> two shot, indicating it would mm -hmm. it would be just Lynn. And and I. Oh, did he get upset? And and oh, he and course. he says two shot, two shot. Why two shot? I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you know I you just did. Said two shot. <laughs> I didn't say it twice. <laughs> oh, okay. you're good. Shame on you, Jim. <laughs> right. Always taking it and taking it to the next. Uh, one. This is April 30th. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, on this date, back in 1945, uh, one Adolf Hitler, mm. with his bride of one day, mm. went up to Aryan heaven. Mm. Bye bye. Uh, took his own life, if you recall. Mm -hmm. And yeah. on 1789, on this date, George Washington took office as mm -hmm. the oh. first president of the United States. And in 1975, on April 30th, 75, uh, mm. helicopters Saigon. came down in Saigon. It was oh. the fall of Saigon right. and the end of the Vietnam War. Mm. Uh, birthdays on this date. Mm. Al Lewis, Grandpa. Al He's Lewis in his 90s. He must be 93. A wonderful madman. <laughs> He's 92. <laughs> he ran for governor last time He ran time for, for everything. Well, yes, hey. exactly. He's something else. Remember I his think, restaurant, Grandpa's? Yeah, absolutely, downtown. Mm -hmm. he, he ran for... for uh, for a uh, governor on the obscene party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cloris Leachman is a birthday today. Mm. Uh -huh. She's 76. Is she really? Willie Nelson. 69. 69. 69. 69. Yeah, nice. Absolutely. Gary Collins. Mm. Gary Collins and Marianne Mobley, of those two? From the Gary no, I don't know. talk show host? G Gary Collins, talk show host. He was the uh, host of the Miss America contest right. for a couple 65? of years. Right. He's 64. Oh. Bert Young with whom I was inducted into the Bronx Hall of Fame. Oh, hey. really? well, along with Ace Freely. Along with Ace Freely. Uh, <laughs> there was a flock of them. Uh, <laughs> Ace Freely from Kiss, of right. course. Uh, Bert Young, 62. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bobby V. Bobby V mm -hmm. would be around 60. 60. 59, mm -hmm. not yet. Don't rush him. Jill, Jill Clayberg is 58. And Isaiah Thomas. It's going to be about uh, 39. 40. 41. 41. Yeah, big 41. All oh, happy birthdays you know, today. Bert's got a great restaurant in the Bronx. You've got to visit it sometime. What's it called? Uh, did yeah. I say with whom I was inducted into the Bronx? We were inducted into the Hall of Fame. Yes, Lynn well, Brown yeah. was as well. Of course. Lynn I was with I, him, I and you happened to be there. Someone said to me it's the other day, you have a street named after you? And I went, oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. You, hold on, you have a street named after you? Yeah, Jim does as well. No, I did not realize Maybe that. it's yes. time for that two shot. <laughs> <laughs> Over it's here. Over here, Tommy. Oh, man. Coming Thanks. up, we'll play a, a little uh, Blue's Clues with Blue himself. Plus, 
How can you pay all your bills and still have money left over for investment? You can't. And we'll listen, well, maybe you can. And we'll listen to Angel, the girl group formed by two of the original members of Destiny's Child. First, take a look at your Dodge Commuter Fortress. And I need for you to be on your way. Don't let a good thing go to waste. All your kissing and your hugging, boy. Box Tuesday, the Who Rock Springfield. How you doing out there? It's a little chilly now. Don't miss The Simpsons with guest stars The Who. Then, it's the all-new That 70s Show's 100th episode, a rock opera with The Who's Roger Daltrey. Okay, places everyone. Tonight, Simpsons at 7 and 70s Show at 8 on Fox 5. Do not sweeten. Do not concentrate. Do not disturb. Nature at work. Introducing Simply Orange. 100% unfooled around with. Start this month with gigantic savings at Levitt's May One Day Sale. Tomorrow only, everything's on sale. The entire showroom, the entire warehouse, everything is marked down to some of the lowest prices of the season. Buy it tomorrow and you'll get an entire year to pay. No down payments, no monthly payments, no interest payments for one full year, tomorrow only, at Levitt's. I'm very happy living in a nursing home. What I like best about being in the nursing home is not worrying about what I need. A nursing home is a special place because you get the best care there. I know that the nurses care for me, and I care for them a lot. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. New York Nursing Facilities. Committed to quality, dedicated to caring. For more information, call us today. When you're a star, you can't have a lackluster body or a dull top. So I decided to give the whole works a makeover. Oh, better get Mako. See Mako for Ambassador Paint, $229, and get a free estimate on body repair. What happens is they're bringing the saint down Elizabeth Street. One of the guys holding the saints has a shotgun. Pop, pop, he hits him twice. First, people look around, they hear the noise, and then they realize what it is. He rides right past my store, and he says, What? What? What booth is Isn't this where Tootsie was shot? He's like, yes, madam. And that's the famous Godfather 3 scene that was shot right here on Elizabeth Street. They shot desperately seeking Susan here. We now have a sign hanging from the ceiling. It goes something like, I hope you had what she had. Uh, enjoy. This is where Harry met Sally. Elaine is spreading holiday cheer. I don't get a Christmas card. I don't get it. Here. Here's your Christmas card. Seinfeld, tonight at 7.30 on Fox 5, the home of comedy. Looks like a lovely day outside. Here's now Mario the Money Maven. <laughs> lovely day while you crunch those money numbers, Jim. Good morning once again to you and everyone. The high cost of city living can take a toll on a fa small family budget, but there is a way to save for tomorrow while meeting the financial demands of today. We have two kids. He works full time. I work part time. We had just uh, gotten um, our older daughter into school full time. And then this past summer we had Katie, and, and so now we have to be able to provide, you know, child care for her. Child care plus rent in the city is, you know, more than half basically of our take-home pay. Scott and Caroline Sinisa Levine have their eye on the future. They're trying to find ways to save for their children's college education while planning for their own retirement. We do things like pay yourself first, you know, we fund his 401k, you know, so and still, you know, it just seems like, so I feel like we're running out of ideas. Scott and Carolyn are doing a lot of things right, but they're still facing a challenge a lot of people have with spending, which is they're not all that conscious of where it goes. Deborah Nucky is a financial expert and author of The Ms. Spent Money Guide. It's best to sit down and bite the bullet at the beginning of the month. The key is you've got to start with the savings and then spend what's left over. I was shocked to see how much money I'm actually spending each week on you know, lunches, sodas, pizza, you know, things, and I, I had no idea where it was going, and, and uh, it really was just amazing to see yeah. <laughs> kind of where that's, where it's, you know, evaporating into. Sorry, honey, you're not going to college, I ate it. <laughs> it's very easy to drop $200 a month because you can't be bothered brown bagging. 
but just right. taking a power bar to work or something like that can decrease those costs substantially. I think I've been able to cut about you know, 15 or 20 percent off of the cash that I spend every week just by actually keeping track of everything that I, that I spend. That's great. You know. Some people have problems with cash, some have problems with credit cards. If you know plastic feels like water to you, leave the credit cards at home. If you know cash is tough, keep only 10 or 20 dollars in your pocket. That way, it's easy to say no to the $1 here, the $5 here, the small expenses that really add up to a lot of money over time. All right, Deborah also says, be careful not to treat your money as such a scarce resource that you don't have some fun with it. If you can't live within the restraints of your budget, you may not stick to it for long. So go ahead and take that Concorde flight to Europe. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Buy that biggie. Rolls Royce. <laughs> right. Whoa. Lynn, get that Jaguar. Biggie, mm -hmm. that's a biggie. Get your bot. Okay. <laughs> hey, good morning, Jim. You know, I just have to say something, by the way. The combined SAT scores, math scores, in this building right now, I'm sure, is much higher than Dave Price's new salary. Okay, we are here to meet a new team. This is the, the team from E2. They are actually the hosts of our show this morning, the Bergen, from Bergen County Academies. This is Kelly, this is Brian, and this is Nick. Good morning, guys. Good morning. And this is uh, their engineering teacher here, Joe DeFalco. Thanks, Joe, for letting us uh, bring the bots out here this morning. And you guys built a robot that actually came in seven which isn't too bad, right, considering that how many people were competing? About 52 robots there competing. Not bad. And what were some of the special features of your bot? Well, our bot was very solidly built and could withstand a beating. That's how he won. Yeah, that's very good. Well, you're going to give us an example. This is actually, this is your kick bot. What is this? This is our prototype bot that we built early in the uh, design stages. Now, you guys have a pretty big team here. You guys got your big team here. About how many students in the class? About, about, 30. about 30. About 30. Now, uh, do you guys fight as to like what kind of features you want to put on? Oh, I see lots of yeah. heads nodding. <laughs> so how do you guys finally decide like what kind of stuff you're going to put in your bots? Well, we just we go over, we look at old bots and new bots, and then see how they've performed in the past, and that's how we basically build our bot. Now, you know, the, the thing with bots is their special features. You know, um, you've got bots with hammers, you've got bots with those spinning things. What's the special feature with your bot? Like, what does it do that makes it win? Oh, uh, we have a lifting arm in the front. A and lifting arm in front? Yeah. Hey, Dave, wrong. R Dave Stalick, Ron Bot, this is the bot. <laughs> the lifting arm in front. Yeah, it lifts about five or six inches, and it l helps us um, push other bots across the arena into hazards. Okay. You know, we should explain to our viewers, you know, if you watch us on TV, you know that there is a plexiglass when they actually turn these things on, and that's why we can't actually have the competitions here, but it's a great chance for the kids here to show off their bots. Coming up next, we're going to do something called Panasonic Robots. Okay, Creative Design Challenge. That's coming up in the next hour. Jim, back to you. Annabelle, right, can you hear me? Ship, uh, what's up? Uh, Dave has a question. <laughs> he wants to know, uh, do chicks dig bots? Of course, do chicks dig bots? Chicks dig bots? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that right. was a resounding yeah. I have a question, Annabelle. When they yes. get sick, do they get botulism? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, that's wrong. You two have roped him in. You know that, right? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> They're my heroes. Oh, let's, let's, let's get out of this quickly. Here's AJ with, with some friends of his. Pardon my friends. They can be a pain in the butt. It's a whole <laughs> a terrible thing. <laughs> well, gang, we are in for a musical treat, and may I be, to, be as bold to say as a visual treat as well this morning. Two years ago, amidst conflict and lawsuits, Latoya and Latavia uh, split from the wildly successful then-quartet Destiny's Child. And rather than let the breakup slow them down, the two Grammy winners have moved on. And with the additions of Nadi and Tiffia, Tiffany, they are uh, poised to take over the charts as the new group Angel, it is a pleasure to have you ladies here. Thank, Thank you much. so much. You do look fantastic. Thank you. And during the sound check, sound fantastic. And we're looking forward to hearing from <laughs> you in a few minutes. Thank now, I have to ask the two of you, obviously, the Destiny's Child thing is probably going to follow you around for some time. Uh, wh what's the status of it now, and, and where are things at? I know there have been some lawsuits. Some things have been settled. What's going on? Yes, there have been um, two lawsuits, as a matter of fact, and this, the first one was settled, and the second one was only filed because we were sued again by the girls. Right. We were brought into a lawsuit. Um, it wasn't solely about Survivor or anything like that. Yeah, was, a lot of people thought yes, it was because it of was, disparaging lyrics and, and I, Survivor. I definitely want to clear that up. It's definitely because we were sued again, and the only way that we could legally get out of it was to sue back, but I'm sure it's gonna follow us. There's no love loss. We still love Beyonce and Kelly very much. It really more had to do with the management. Yes. Right. And it really, yes. doesn't it all come down to greed? 
in the music business sometimes when these in things way, happen. <laughs> we, we can just say that it wasn't a personal issue. Right. It was really just a business issue. There was nothing wrong really with the girls and ourselves. It okay. was nothing like that. Like Tavi said, we still love them and we wish them well wherever they yes. are. Yes, that's nice. Let's move on, shall we? Yes. It's angel time. <laughs> you found two uh, lovely members and two relative newcomers to the music business. You guys have been singing your whole lives, but here you are with two Grammy winners. How did y'all hook up? Wow. Well, um, I was introduced by a mutual friend and went down to Atlanta, Georgia. And, and you're a New Yorker. No, I'm Houston. Oh, you're Houston. Houston. <laughs> Connecticut. Connecticut, Middletown from yeah, the area. So it and Just they're from Houston, right, so, right. so we, we really clicked, so. It was I so know. funny. But there was an auditioning process. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Right. I, I auditioned for uh, Linda Casey, um, who is Brandon and Brian Casey's mother, right. who are our producers. And um, she set up an audition for me for the guys, and then the girls met me, and we just clicked ever since. And you have to be thrilled because you know you got the stuff here. I mean, obviously, <laughs> we're, we're going to hear you sing in just a moment, but you really are poised and ready to launch. And that, for you two particularly, has to feel amazing. Yeah, very blessed. It's blessed. amazing for us, too. We're so glad to have them. Everything has gone so well with us, and we're clicking, and I'm just happy. I just hope that this go-round is going to be a success for all four of us as a whole. Well, everybody's anxious to hear your sound. So uh, we're going to get a sample of that coming up next. you have something planned to sing for us? Of course. All right, we'll take a little break. You can do a little vocal warm-up, whatever you like. Maybe <laughs> we can just socialize, and we'll be right back after this break. This is going to be good. Today, over half a million children get health care through Child Health Plus, New York's health plan for kids. And now we've created Family Health Plus, comprehensive health coverage for adults with great benefits, just like Child Health Plus. Now my husband and I can get the same great health coverage as our daughter and our doctors right in the neighborhood. Child Health Plus and now Family Health Plus, building healthy families and healthy communities. to get you on your feet again. Get up. Okay, fellas. So what do you think? Good offense or good defense? Find the answer and the Volvo S60 at your local Volvo retailer or at volvocars.com slash questions. Sweetheart, mm. the plumber says we'll have to replace the water heater this month. Mm. Oh, and the dentist says Kelly needs braces. Mm. Hey, Mom, can mm. we get a pool? Well, I don't think so, hon. <laughs> oh, Mayo's here. Kevin, hang on to your sister. Need help managing your debt? A home equity loan from Champion can help get your bills under control. Homeowners call 1-800-CHAMPION. When you call Empire Carpet and shop at home, you get carpeting next day, not next month. Our giant warehouse is filled with brand name carpeting. Choose from hundreds of samples and we'll install your new carpet next day. And with our warehouse direct prices, you'll save. Plus, no payments for one full year. So instead of driving to a carpet store, call Empire. For samples in your home today, carpet in your home tomorrow. 800 empire I will own a Jaguar. Hand robbed maple. I will own a Jag. Oh I will work Leaper into conversation. The top of the mountain looking down, the view was just Leaper. I will know the joys of all your drive standard. Leak. I will nod appreciatively and say complimentary scheduled maintenance. I will own a Jag. I will own a Jaguar. Bought it. Jaguar. Me. For exceptional values on the X Type, visit your Jaguar retailer today. Welcome back to Good Day New York. Now, just to clarify, Nadi was born in the Bronx, yes. Yes, grew I up was. in Middletown, Connecticut. Yes. Are you a little nervous? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> is this the first TV performance? Yes, yes. as yes. a group. Yes, yes it is. All right. Group. Gonna get a little sampling right now, making their television debut right here on Good Day New York. Angel. I'm missing you, missing you, boy. I'm missing you and all the things that we used to do. 
I'm missing you, missing you, boy. I'm missing you, and I want you so bad. I'm missing you, missing you, boy. I'm missing you, and all the things that we used to do. I'm missing you, missing you. I'm missing you, and I want you so I've been bad. So alone. Every time I check into my hotel room, my bed is so cold. And I just wanna go home and be there with you. I've been feeling so alone. Every time I check into my hotel room, my bed is so cold. And I just wanna go home and be there with you. Oh, I'm missing you, missing you, boy. I'm missing you and all the things that we used to do. I'm missing you, missing you, boy. I'm missing you and I want you so bad. Nice. Thank you. Woo! Excellent. That was a yes. And it wasn't so rough, was it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tiffany, Excellent. Tavia, Latoya, and Nadi, thank you very much for joining thank us. You guys are getting it. your record deal together right now, yes. and hopefully we'll have a CD from you soon. And then when you win that Grammy, you're coming back to sing. Oh, of, course. of course. All right. It's Angel. Look for them. Wow. They're going to be right. huge, Jim. Super. Yes. Yes. Wow. Nice. Very nice. They were really spectacular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a spectacular forecast, too, mm -hmm. isn't it, Dave? Wow, that's <laughs> they were really spectacular. <laughs> they, they, for, yes, the they. forecast is going <laughs> this way. <laughs> Man, they, yes. They, they're not Jewish. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it, it, we should all come together. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it's I one world. It. It's really, incredible yeah. voices. Oh, they really were terrific. Voices. Angel, 755 yes. right now, 42 degrees, folks. Uh, forecast as lovely as the ladies who just performed on the program. We have uh, sunny skies, breezy conditions out there. Watch for uh, sun glare that may slow you down this morning. Uh, temperature should climb to about 56 degrees by about noontime. 60 should be the high. 66 is where we should be at this time of the year. And uh, we'll see sunset tonight at 751. Could see some showers rolling in tonight. Keep that in mind as a warm front moves to our north. We will see clouds begin to build up through the afternoon hours and the wind should be out of the west southwest before everything is said and done. But as far as the rest of the day goes, most of it should look real good. Bring the sunglasses. You may want to wear a light jacket through the morning. And again, it is going to be breezy through the day. Right now, once again, 42 degrees on the uh, thermometer and we're on our way up to 60. That is a quick look at the forecast. Jim. My understanding is that Angel is looking for a male lead singer. Mm. Here we go. Missing you, missing you. <laughs> Hello, how about ladies? Let's try it. Ready? Ready? One, uh, two, three. Wait, 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 wait. You know what it is. You're looking for after, a fifth After your 200th you know. album, you can afford <laughs> to do that. All right, fifth member, in effect. Ready? Fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, sixth member. Right. Missing you, missing you, but missing you. And all the things that we used to oh, do. Oh, ready? All right. And a one. Do we have the mics up? And a one. A two. A one, two, three. Missing you, missing you, missing you. Okay, okay. We're going to get this together. Hey, 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 don't hey, 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 worry about it. Hey, Amy's had this problem for a long time. We'll take care of it. I think you should sing the name of the song to miss the boat. Still ahead as Good Eddie Or continues. Dave, all right? Yeah, he'll be all right. Yeah, we'll play some Blue's Clues. <laughs> Let go of me! With Blue and Steve from Let the go! Uh, show now at Radio yeah. City Music Hall. And bridesmaids share their stories and try to break out of the bridal shadow. Woody Allen is going to be here. His uh, latest could be a slice of his own life. What else is new? He talks to Marion about Hollywood ending back in 60 seconds. They like me! Have they recovered? No, no, Dave. Is it just filling an amber bottle? Or is it filling your need for information? Is it just that your prescription's on time? Or is it that you're on time? Is it just knowing he won't feel sore? Or is it knowing it won't interact with his other medications? It's not just what you should take, it's what you should know. Every mom knows the difference. And so does one pharmacy. CVS Pharmacy, helping you make a difference. The Susquehannocks came here to escape the Iroquois. The Quakers and the Amish came here to escape intolerance. Aaron Burr came here to escape the law. All of Pennsylvania will welcome you, too. The next time you need to, escape. Call 1-800-VISIT-PA for your free travel planner. Or for special getaway packages, visit experiencepa.com. You're watching Good Day New York.
Good morning. Welcome back to Good Day New York. I'm Jim Ryan here with the gang, and here are the stories that are making news right now. The employees at a New Jersey nursing home in a big game lottery pool accused a colleague of holding out on them. Turns out he does not have the winning ticket. We'll find out later today who does. Bronx State Senator Guy Vallela, a longtime powerhouse in the Republican Party, has been indicted on bribery charges. The Manhattan DA says lucrative state contracts were for sale. The well-known Riverside Church basketball program has sent more than 60 players to the NBA. Now its director has stepped down amid charges that he sexually abused a player to whom he later gave $2 million. Price man, check in the weather. All right, Jim, as we begin our day together, we're looking at some pretty decent conditions to start the day, albeit on the cool side. 44 degrees right now. These are new 8 o'clock readings. We'll go through the rest of the data, look ahead to the end of the day where we could see some showers, and even take a glance at our weekend forecast. That's all coming up in the next couple of minutes, so stay tuned for that. Adrian, standing by with what's happening on the tarmac and the pavement. <laughs> Tarmac is fine, the pavement is not, especially in Connecticut. Still multi-mile delays on the Connecticut Turnpike and three accidents right now in New Jersey. More on that in a couple of minutes. Good morning, Dick. Good morning, Adrian. Well, the ex-cop accused in four counts of manslaughter expected to take the stand in his own defense today here at Brooklyn Supreme Court. We'll have more on that story straight ahead. Cheryl, over to you. Well, thank you very much. If you're always a bridesmaid but never a bride, we've got a support group just for you. It's called Bridesmaids Anonymous. Bring your gowns along. And hey, guess what, kids? Guess who's in the house? Woo! We got... Oh, is this Blue from Blue's Clues? The show is at Radio City Music Hall from now through May 5th. I'm going to find out all about the clues for Blue's Clues. Who's Blue's Clues? Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but first, over to you, Arnabelle. Hey, Blue. Oh, Sorry. Cheryl, Blue's Clues. Good for you. Well, we are live in Hackensack, New Jersey. So what do you do with a bunch of household items that you're getting ready to throw away? Well, give it to these kids at Del Barton High School. Check it out. They made this mini bot. It came in first place at the Panasonic Design Creative Design Challenge. Good for you guys. We'll have more on the bots coming up. Jim, back to you. And Annabelle, thank you. And now Lynn Brown, the greatest of the latest. Thank you, Jim. Our top story right now, Brooklyn Bishop Thomas Daly is taking a giant step in combating sex abuse among priests in his diocese. For the first time, he says all accusations will be forwarded directly to authorities without prior church review. Seven in the Morristown area, another accident there. Southbound Deegan, accident number two, your slam from Willis Avenue down to the Triborough Bridge.